everyone with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight one of our two teams has had a terrible time in scoring goals. How do you change that? Never a bad play to get the puck towards the net, Doc, as we say on a daily basis. But the mindset has to be is that when you're in the offensive zone, you're the puck carrier. I have to know is that you're not going to try to make a fancy play. You're not going to try to make a pass unless I'm wide open. Is that there's a pretty good chance you're going to direct that puck towards the net. And I already have to be on my way there. The more second and third chance opportunities you can get, you have a pretty good chance of putting the puck in the back of the net. The Monarchs coaching staff has talked to its players over and over again about the importance of keeping things simple. If they can get people and pucks to the net, this will create and generate offensive opportunities. Then they will gain some traction in their confidence. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. This man's the choice for the crease tonight. He's earned the confidence of his coaches night in and night out, and thus he gets this start for the home team. This man's got the start. You know, if they like the goalie and they like playing for you, you stand a good chance to be strong, and that's the hope for the visitors. The Monarchs have had an excellent last 10 games, and they're full of confidence. They were telling us this morning, even though their opponents have had an excellent last 10 games as well, they feel they're the better team. Stays along the boards. Let's it go. Oh, what a save. From the outside. Off his glove. Puck controlled now by the defense. Gains the blue line. Taken away. And he gains the zone. That is defense. He scores. That would ricochet in off one of the bad guys. There's the old adage, get it to the net. You never know what can happen. Because he doesn't hit it solidly, the goalie is fooled on it. Utah's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. They've got the draw. Manchester's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. Puck loose, couldn't drag it through. He covers and holds on. The Grizzlies are only half of the group in this game that has played very well over the last 10 games. Both of these teams have played almost identically. The records are almost identical as they head into this matchup. Shot on. The Grizzlies with possession in the defensive zone. Back on his stick. Knocked to a knee. Lost it. Back and forth they go between the points. Oh, deflected away. Utah's in control through the neutral zone. He's got that point pass. Cranks a shot. Point blank save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. That puck changes direction. It becomes a really difficult stop for the goaltender to make. Just a hair under seven minutes play. The Grizzlies lead 1-0. Nice face-off work. Taken over again. Wonderful block. The Monarchs wheel it up the wing. Fires. Not a free puck now. Up the wing, moving along. Around to the corner. Back on his stick. Manchester's continuing on in the defensive zone. Wouldn't let him bob. Dumped in. Goes back deep for it. Carried right up the middle.
Went to the backhand. They score! And they've tied the game up. I love watching guys score on the backhand. I don't know how he could be in much better position, Eddie. I got a clean look at this. That is a perfectly placed shot. Manchester's won that faceoff. They have it. Gets in. What'll he do? Nice job. Straight stand-up poke check. The Grizzlies in their own end, ready in attack. Has it picked up. Enormous hit. Both teams talked about having a physical presence. He got the message. That early hit sets the tone for his team. The Grizzlies up the wing, lock the puck. To the point it comes. And off target with that one. That's what you call there, grip it and rip it. He just missed it. Puck fired down, decision made. Defenders first, ice it. And so we've been on the receiving end of more than a few of these things. This is why you retire from the game. What a gorgeous hit. Over five minutes to go here in the first. We are at one goal apiece. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Let's a shot go. The Grizzlies are skating it back in their own end. Has it back deep. Keeps it going up the wing. Good job with the neutral ice intercept. They've vacated the goal crease so they can go with that extra man. The exchange is made. He's in. Free puck off an offender. That roadblock was set up. Manchester's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. They must retreat and start back again. Nicely into the zone. Let's it go. Save. Oh, it's very important if he can get that out. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Utah's getting to the neutral zone. Takes a perfect pass. Well, that's what your wings are for. They give it to you right in the center. A terrific shot block. Yeah, shot back out. All's fine. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. The clock has bled down to the last minute. One minute left in the first period. Takes that pass and looks on. Shoots it off. Terrific glove save. Freezes play. That's a good stop for the goaltender to make on the odd man rush, but the shooters have to be better than that. The Monarchs win it. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. He's in on an onside play. Got it at the point. Turned a shot on net. Oh, a save. Wonderful work and goal. That second save was textbook. job on the draw. Very important if he can clear this puck out. Oh, and what a tremendous job of keeping the puck alive. Can't get a shot on. 
good, solid defensive play with the stick. Manchester's gotten back even. Penalty kill. Really good work by the penalty killers there. They were all over the puck. They moved in unison to get the puck down the ice, and whenever there was a shot, the goalie was able to turn it aside. The first period has come to a close, and both teams struck once, but only once. So it's 1-1. One, one. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. Manchester's goal, this goal, got this game tied again. What will happen next? We'll see when we return right after this. is tied we've just begun the second period gets across looks over his options as that point pass as well puck loose good defensive positioning there the stick can break up a play and it just did the Grizzlies leave their own zone Utah's in possession and moving up the wing to the point. It's tipped. Chiseled down. Popped loose because of that hit. Manchester's accelerating on in neutral ice. Using the point. Shoots one. That one's off the frame. Pinpoint pass up that right wing. Pass from his goalie here. He's got that pass off the wing and can move ahead. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. He can start some danger here. Ranks one. Missed. Oh, what a great opportunity that was. Boy, this puck had a lot of steam on it, but unfortunately he turned his hands over, and that's what caused the puck to miss the net badly. And Chester's in possession as they travel in their own end. Receives that pass from the other side. Good work with the stick. Manchester's got a two-minute slashing penalty. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. The Grizzlies' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Manchester's got a defensive zone win. That is one solid keep, and play can continue. One-timer! Score! A power play goal! And it's a biggie! So the goalie thinks he's got this puck stopped. Look at how he reacts. He stopped so much of it. He thinks it's in his equipment somewhere, but it trickles into the net. The Grizzlies are ahead by one. They've been wheeling that puck to the net a lot. Manchester's got that puck off the tie-up. And still with it along the boards. Play stopped. The puck went into the bench. Under nine minutes play. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. And he gains the zone. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing good happening there. We have a winner. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. What a save! I was looking for the light to come on. 
I'd say this game is played out pretty much according to plan. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Got possession. Between the blue lines. Takes it right back. He's got it. The Grizzlies, through the neutral zone, gliding along. And he's all alone. Got the pad on it. And he dumps it in. Picks it up back there. Manchester's continuing to probe up the wing. Tries to get it on net. Slid to Kopitar. Picks it up in his own end. Takes that pass from the other point man. Sends it across the blue line. Oh, great block. He gains the zone. In the can you say pick? Anybody that has a chance to score is looking for the bounce. Doesn't matter if you're up or down. In this case, they're up, but they still want a little cushion. He throws it there. Score! And this one is tied! The goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go and beat the goaltender clean. A lot of times the goaltender feels like his positioning is perfect and he's got the net covered. Guess what? He doesn't. Manchester's gotten this game tied, setting the stage for a raucous finish to this second period and a bombastic third. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Into the attacking end. Shot. Terrific pad save. Oh, that was a great chance. Puck loose. Couldn't get through. A whistle and a rest. You get an odd man rush, you better finish it off. You don't get many of them. The goalie was better than them there. Players tired about to get a rest as we go late into the second period. Into the end of attack. Fires didn't miss by much. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Great! And another save there. Puts one on. And the period comes to an end. Woo! We all need a rest now. Don't miss the chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. See the official arena website for details on upcoming concerts. Manchester's collected the game-tying goal, and that will mean an awful lot to them when they head out to the ice for the start of the next period. We'll return after these words. Third period underway, tie score. It's an onside play. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. Manchester's carrying on up the wing. A shot, they can't find the target. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. The Grizzlies with possession up the wing. Using the point, he's got it. And they've got it again. The Monarchs looking to head man up the wing. Back in front, score!
really think about it, at some point, the puck's got to get through the middle of the ice, the area in between the two face-off dots. If you get there, you're going to get rewarded. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. Manchester's broken the tie here in the third period. Let's see what happens before time expires. They've won the faceoff. by number 24. Assisted by number 6. Manchester's carrying on up the wing. Mashed in. Small. Time of the goal. 3 minutes, 35 seconds. Right near the line. And it's a good pickup. Good, solid defense there. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. That hit somebody. Utah's finding its way to center ice. Onside. Back in his defensive end to get it. Can he generate something from there? Right there on the money, the left wing pass. Rounded it again. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Makes that play deep. Manchester's moving well through the neutral zone. Right play, right pass up the right wing, and it's on his stick. Fires a shot. He missed the net. Well, oh, you miss an opportunity like that. You better not be in a hurry to get back to that bench. I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been... Got his glove on it. The Grizzlies ready in attack back in the defensive zone. Moving it now up the wing. Slides to the safety behind the net. Sliced through the neutral zone. It's dumped in. And he picks it up. Perfect passing right through center. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Motors along up the middle. Nicely into the zone. Gives it to the point. Chooses the corner. One-timer missed the net. You're right, Doc. That one-timer was really close. However, the puck was just a bit behind him. It's a difficult shot, and he missed wide. Loose puck couldn't drag it through. Takes that pass. Point blast. Held there for a face-off coming up next. A little under three minutes to be played. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. And they've won that draw. Up to the point. Looks ahead to start something. Kicked out of the scrum. Fires! Score! And the game is even. Butterflies become a default position for the goaltender, Edzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quickly. And that's a face-off win. Gets in. What will he do? Fires! Outstanding save! What magic to even get the shot away! Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. It's tied late in the save. Score! Back-to-back -back chances in the low slot, and he scored on the second one. Whoa, it looks like his trap has got a hole in it there, Ed, so he gets beat low to the glove side.
Utah has gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. We are in the last minute of play, and we're almost ashamed to say it's over. Hopefully it's not. Goalie is gone. Extra man coming on. The Grizzlies continue to probe up the wing. That puck is loose. That's good defensive. Net empty. Great chance, but he missed. Great stick work. Net open. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. The Monarchs start the rush up ice. Nice tip of the pass. Turns around back in his own end to try and get something better. The Grizzlies are controlling in their own end. Manchester's got two minutes on their penalty total, and this one's for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Penalty to number 16. Two off the faceoff, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. And there it is. The game is over. The game is over. A tremendous game that it was. It had a little bit of everything, a lot of entertainment. People got their money's worth, Doc. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.